Hey you guys, Phoebe here from Little Grey Box. Now Matt and I are in Asahikawa here in Hokkaido. As you can see it's snowing and it's very cold. Now we arrived yesterday where we collected our hire car and we figured out how to navigate the streets of Asahikawa on our own for the very first time. All right, this is our little whip. Look at it, so cute, little Suzuki. So when we were looking for a car rental place, we looked at a few different places and we went with what was located where we wanted it to be, but also most importantly, what was cheapest. And for us, that was these guys, Times Car Rental. The next challenge is obviously figuring out how to drive on pure ice, just it's a frozen solid. What could go wrong? This has got a GPS, but you guys, I'm really into this app called Maps.me. Let me see if I can show you that. What are you, what are you doing? You can use it offline, you just download the maps, it's free, and it's really, really reliable. So I just, while I have Wi-Fi, I star places that I want to go, and from there it's really easy. So we're just going to Maps.me to our hotel, Sora E Hotel in Asahikawa. This is it, you guys. We are turning left onto the main street. First time driving in Japan on this kind of ice. We've not crashed yet. Look how high that is outside the car window. Now today we are getting ready to shred it, bro! We are about to head up to Kamui Ski Links where we're about to go skiing and snowboarding. My levels are down here. I turn left and right. Sometimes I stop. Matt can actually shred it. So this is going to be fun. We are going there because one, it is close by. It's about 45-50 minutes drive from where we're staying. Two, it's meant to be cheap, so that's great. And three, it's not supposed to be crowded, so tick, tick, tick. I don't know how good the different runs are, but we're gonna figure that out as we go, and tomorrow we might check out somewhere else. So let's get in the car and get going and shred it, man, shred life, shred it. I have one question for you. Are you ready to shred it? I can see your breath inside the car. Oh my God. Sick, man. So we have made a mistake. <laughs> we found out that Kamui Ski Links opens at 9, so we assumed if we left by 8am that that would be plenty of time because it's about an hour's drive. A couple of things we got wrong. We didn't leave at 8, we left at about 8.30 and then I wouldn't call it heavy traffic but I mean you do have to drive slow, there are a lot of traffic lights in Asahikawa and it's a very very stop start drive and obviously you can't just bang it, you have to be so so careful on these roads. We'll just figure it out, we're just going to keep heading that way and whatever time we get there we'll just figure it out. It's an adventure. Did you just contribute to the that vlog was, update? That was my little bit. Strap yourselves in. It took me five minutes to work up the courage to say that. And what you came up with in that five was, minutes was, it's, it's an, an adventure. adventure. Back in my box. Are you putting your foot up? Dude, where's my car? I don't know, dude. Where's your car? This would have done more than we in part. When I look at what I've won, I've come so far. I know I'm so much better off. And baby, you don't belong. This is amazing. Look, there's barely any line. Look at it moving. I'm moonwalking in. That's the kind of day I'm having. All right, so let me just quickly talk you through the prices. So for an adult per person, one day full pass was 3100 five hours was 2900 and three hours, hold on, was 2600 So we've shown up about an hour after opening. We were trying to decide should we just do five hours, but the difference between five hours and full day was 200 yen. So, I mean, how is on, full day pass, absolutely essential. We got that sorted. You also have to pay a 500 yen deposit per person for your card, your lift pass card. You get that money back at the end when you return it. Now we're sorting out some gear hire. All right, so it's taken us all of maybe 10 or 15 minutes to organize our ski passes and organize our gear hire. The gear hire was $5,000, no, 5,000 yen <laughs> per person. Mine was skis, boots, and poles. Matt's obviously was board and boots. Pretty affordable, I think. I paid so much more in places like New Zealand and stuff like that. So. I mean, look behind me, there's not that many people. It was really easy to get sorted. Our Japanese isn't that good, but we've had no problems. Everyone's understood us. Everything has been so easy. This is just amazing.
Unlike other places we visited, it is just so chill. Like getting on the Gondi, there's no queue, there's no rush. Just get on, take your time. It's such a peaceful ski experience, which I've never had before. Usually it's mania. I made some friends, they're children. Look, we've got a crawl going out. Shred it. I yell shred it, they yell shred it. Shred it, man! Shred it! <laughs> Woo! Shred it! Shred it! I got a good Shred it! See? When shredding, it's important to keep your energy levels up. I packed a nutritious snack of Choco Babies. Choco Baby! <laughs> Now you know what's wrong. Love you with all of my heart. Together forever, never to part. I wanna be with you always. So we are all done. That was an incredible day at Kamui Ski Links. I would absolutely recommend. No lines, no lines for food. Mm. Great food, cheap food, cheap lift prices. It's unheard of. It's ridiculous. Quick gear rental. Incredible snow. Just great. Lovely people too. Yeah, like, the people are hilarious. Everyone was so nice. Everyone was so nice to us. It felt like people were looking out for us. In fact, Matt's coming back tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna come back and... He was gonna go to Ferrano, but... Yeah, this is great. Look at this. Have a look at this. So guys, now, today is the day that we're doing our YouTube live, actually it's night, so by the time you guys watch this, the live will have already happened, but for us, it's happening tonight. So what we're going to do now is drive back to where we're staying, I do want to show you where we're staying too because it's awesome, but first we're going to go to the supermarket and stock up on some local food that we can try on camera for you guys, uh, yeah, and then we're going to get, that's just pointed out my mouth. <laughs> And then we're gonna get all set up for our YouTube live. We have to do something about the way we look because it's out of control. All right, so we wanted to show you guys where we were staying here in Asahikawa because before we booked this, we were having a really rough time. All the hotels were way too expensive and the Airbnbs honestly looked a bit depressing. This place is called Sora E. That's S-O-R-A and then the letter E, hotel, Asahikawa. And it is the best, I highly recommend. So this place is huge and spacious, which if you've been to Japan will know that that is very unusual. So we've got our beds, the twin bed situation. It's just part of Japan culture. We've got a huge wardrobe. We've got this lounging area, so you're not just confined to the bed. Put your feet up, we've got a heater, we've got a TV. There's no English channel, so we haven't watched it, but we've just been watching stuff online anyway. We've got a little breakfast bar here where you sit to eat. We've got this huge kitchen, little bathroom. Well, it's not little by Japanese standards. We've got a washing machine, so we've been able to do all our laundry. We've got our basin, all of this. There's a bathtub, perfect for soaking after a big day of skiing or snowboarding. Separate shower, which is incredible. And the toilet is out there. This place is huge, it is amazing. The Wi-Fi has been a little bit patchy, but we've gotten there in the end. Um, Highly recommend. It is worth getting out of town to stay here. So we did our YouTube live and I think it went really really well. We're both a little bit nervous but um, yeah you guys watched it and you asked lots of questions and it felt really natural and I just think it went really well. So we might do some more of those from different destinations as we travel. Um, but now I am so tired after all that skiing and then talking on the internet. I just have to go to sleep. I am just exhausted. Good morning you guys! Matt and I are having separate days today. This is something we do from time to time when we travel because we don't always like the same stuff. So Matt likes to do really like physically strenuous activities like climbing mountains and I'm just not up for it. My day started by sitting down with some coffee and some toast to write my weekly blog post the week that was, or TW as we call it. Now I am walking to the train station because I am going horse riding! I am so excited to do this. I am not going to lie. The station is not what I expected. 
I was expecting something a lot bigger than that. Oh no, the train is coming. But it's coming from that direction. That can't be right. Oh my god, why is it beeping? Do I panic and get on it? No. I was picked up by a lovely, lovely lady down at the train station. I've just signed my forms, given them my information, had a quick brush up on how to get in the saddle. Um, I didn't really need it. It's just a humble brag there, but you know, I think it's important to follow all safety instructions. And now we're just gonna have a warm up in the round pen here. Um, it's a little bit hard solo vlogging all of this. I'm going to do my best, but I'm really sorry if there are kind of jumps in what's happening. Wow. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. This is like my happy place. Yeah guys, it was a little bit hard for me to film while I was on my ride and that's just because the guides take the camera off you, which is safety first. That is a good decision. The, the snow is like touching the bottom of your feet. That's how high it is and it was just so peaceful out there and lucky for me, I think my guides are introverts too or they just respect the peace and quiet we had the nicest time if you are coming out here i highly recommend how was your day cool. yeah amazing we were really craving pizza We've been craving pizza for a couple of days. We eat a lot of pizza at home. So we decided we'd treat ourselves to a trip to Pizza Hut. And we got there and it was around... $38 for a large pizza? 38 per pizza. I can't pay $40 for one pizza. So instead we are coming to Yuome! Memories are never give. It's funny death will make you realize that you need to live. Now, mommy, I miss you. I wish I could kiss you. And I got so many issues. And now my issues got issues. <laughs> Alright, you guys, so just like that, our time in the Sohikawa has come to an end. We got a really good night's sleep last night after you obey. Look at that! Oh my goodness, wait, so you guys see the sun coming through here. What? Wow, this place is absolutely beautiful. And not only is it beautiful, there is great food, there's great skiing, there's great snowboarding, great outdoor activities. It is stunning in the winter. It's just incredible. And more than that, the people here are so lovely. We feel like we've really connected with the people of Japan. We've had so many good experiences. All right, you guys, that is it from us. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Now, if you don't already, be sure to subscribe and say hello in the comments below. Have a great weekend, and I will talk to you next week. Love ya.